Hello and welcome to Zach 3 TV. Today we are racing at Old Spice. And as you can see, starting on polls, NH the introvert. Uh, today I got Jonah Burge with me. Um, he's going to be doing commentary with me today. Uh, pardon, I do have a little bit of allergies, so I'm not going to be at the top of my game. But uh, 30 laps here at Old Spice. Jonah, you got any first thoughts? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I forgot now. Oh, you're good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so, the, so all in the last the last time winner of All Spice Speedway, John McFadden. Yeah, it's hold on. The last 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 time last time winners at the um, Old Spice Speedway is John is um the legend himself, John McFadden. Had won his tenth race here at the this exact set at the exact same track. This now hopefully one of the drivers will will win at this seat will win at this track, and hopefully there'll be no wrecks on the first lap. Hopefully, yeah, based on practice and see. Uh, too many. Uh, Rex hasn't really ever been a concern here, but I did adjust some of the stuff so the AI is going to be racing a little more uh, their own individual line instead of like train racing like you usually see. So, like, yeah, you're, you're going to see a little bit more diversity in uh, how these uh, drivers take this racetrack. So, hopefully, hopefully, um, NH will get back until the end if, if, um, he he or she win the win the old spice road course or speedway, and hopefully everyone everyone will have a clean race. Yeah, the uh, and uh, just heads up the uh, command is at five minutes, and then the cars will start rolling off at five minutes ten seconds. Uh, yeah, I'm sure if you knew that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, NH Plus. driving for Railfan Motorsports. Uh, he won the Martinsville race last year. It's a little nugget there. So let let's check on Roach because unlucky for the number sixty six of Roach is starting dead last. So so I don't know what happened to him. Probably so. Probably he has a slow car. Hopefully he'll make it up to the. Hopefully he'll get back up to the um top twenties or top fifteens. He'll be good for the um for the for um the season, and hopefully he'll make it at the end without um without any problems. And and we check and we got a rookie in the O seven. Yeah, we actually in, got three rookies or four of them. We got three rookies. The 07 of Jet 64 in the 07. Got the 16 of Riley Gorse in the Sunny D, and the and the 37 of Gen 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 yes? Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan. Okay, I forgot. I I. I screwed up the first name. Sorry about that. Um, sorry about the. Sorry about um your name. Gen, Genghis Khan. Yeah, Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan. Yeah. Sorry or... if sorry I me, me, sorry if I messed up your name. I apologize and and hopefully you'll make it to the end without um without any problems. Yeah, he actually ran a few races last season, so he will not be making his debut. He uh, ran a few races last year, actually got second place at Las Vegas. The 07 of Jet and the 16 of Riley Gorse. This is their debut as we're about to go to the command in about five seconds-ish. All right, let's start for the command. Drivers, start your engines! As we hear the engines fire up. Hopefully, the race of their dream for John Mc, 
the last time winner, John F. Pavin, won at this exact race. If one of them would do it, and hopefully they would win it for the old for the old legend, Derry Driver, in the used to be in the eighty four last 89. year. Eighty nine. Eighty nine. My bad. Yeah. A new driver in that number is uh, Brad Stover. Yeah, and hopefully we'll make it back with without any problems of the cars. As they head to the restart zone, green flag is out, and we're underway at Old Spice Road Course. You should see some speed skid marks there. That is from uh, this is happening in practice. Yeah, as they head into the first first turn and the second turn, the S's, and they head into the head into the um the clip the clip corner. They, Yoko and NH, two two drivers had no problems on the first lap, as they're heading, they're, as they are leading away, uh, w w leading away from the pack, as they head into the second lap of the race. Another little nugget here, um, Yoko actually got, uh, I think third place here last year, but definitely ran very well. And uh, yeah. was definitely a front runner here in uh, last season. So, looks like Old Spice Road Course may be one of their better racetracks. Uh. Yeah. Top, top, top five. Pos top five. <laughs> um, here's your top five for la on lap two. It's NH, Yuko, Gar Salamander, Real Gaming Freak, and uh. The 54 Gripsy. of Gypsy, yeah. They're making it on lap 3. Nope, no problems at all. Two teammates. Wait. Two, two, wait, two teammates? Two, who? See, I don't think I see... Yeah. Uh, actually, I don't think anyone was top 10. Or, well, except the 40 oh. and the 77. Their teammate and the 26. Um, yeah, actually, the whole Salamander Incorporated is inside the top 10. Garth Gar Salamander is doing okay in the Pontiac. Last last time he, um, last time we seen him is, um, his last season or, or CZ at ZZS. Uh, he actually Back. raced in the, he's been in the Cup Series since uh, 2021, raced, raced the number 12 yeah. that season, Eight. got two wins, and then last season raced 26, I think, got two wins, could be wrong. Yeah. Might not have gotten any wins, I'm not sure. So, the, so the drivers are doing okay, so no pat, there's no trouble at all. Drivers are going clean on the on the track hopefully they won't hopefully there's no pro hopefully there's no yellow at um at the um at the road course oh whoa 81 nearly collided with the 20 121 of me though don't question me they nearly got in the back of each other but at the final corner I think. Yeah, maybe a not so clean. I'm not yeah. sure if that was a pass, but might have been. Thirty laps of fun of Old Spice Speedway or Road Course. So. NH is no problem leading every single lap. He led six laps now. He's he, no no trouble at all. There's a tire marks on the um on the end of the turn <laughs> two, which is from uh practice. Crash and practice. Yeah, practice was Nelt 
was Brendan Nelson and um me. Don't yes, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Brendan Nelson got got the um, side of um the 121 at during practice. And they and he has rear end damage, so he so pro and I think he's in the backup car. That's I don't know if it's the backup car. Yeah, they had to repair it, get a new car, probably. Yeah, yeah, he had to repair his car is repaired, and and I guess so. Twenty seventh right now. Yeah, he's running. He's running twenty seventh. Yeah, here's a little nugget here. Uh, before this race started, they were actually. Um, 19 points behind the leader in standings, uh, just in yeah. second place. Uh, right now, it yeah. doesn't look like they're going to continue that streak as Joy Pants is several positions yeah. ahead. Um, but yeah. it's just an interesting nugget there. Yeah. And we and it is the 91, the last auto club. Wait, is it? 82? Uh, he finished oh. second. Uh, the 82 oh. won it. Uh, Chef Squid got second place. Chef Squid got second place. He, he's doing really good. He probably. One time that, one time that um, Auto Club he he was he's so close to winning the um, the Auto Club race last last race, probably probably next Auto Club, hopefully he will win that. Yep, that shift squid. Win, win in the next season though. And then uh, real gaming for it, continuing, uh, hoping to get a back to back top fives right now. Yeah. The fourth. Last time he, um, last time that we seen him won after, after, before he wins the Auto Club, last time we seen him win at, um, uh, last time he, I forgot now. Uh, yeah, he actually uh, had zero wins per the last race. Yeah. So, ho so, um, and we, Let's take a look at um the the back to back winner of the first two races at the Jazz 500 and, and Pokemon the, New York Peppermint Patties yeah, 200. Yeah. Back to back crown jewels and back to back race back to back races. The first the first driver to ever win and win back to back and not only that win back to back crown jewel races. Joy Paints is on fire. Or, I think he will have a chance to win the championship all this season. Don't know when will that happen, but hopefully, hopefully at the end of the season. Don't know. <coughs> Hold on a second, I got him to mute. Okay. Well, yeah, Joy Paint, she uh, won the first two races of the season. I unfortunately got involved in a crash last week, but already back here in the top 10 uh, trying to stretch that points lead out a little bit and gain some time and keep up there as uh, NH still leading uh, he's been able to fend off the um, 51 fairly well looking for their second career win looking for their first top 5 since uh, it's been a hot minute since they got top 5 so uh, run, just running second for them, I think, is uh, very important for them as is right now. And then uh, they've actually uh, got quite a bit of distance between them and the 26 of Gar Salamander. And then uh, a little bit behind that is the 82. We're talking about him, 82 of uh, Real Gaming Freak. And then behind that is the 54 of Dripsy. And then uh, Dripsy behind that, so it paints, and then behind that is Rich Katie One. Pardon me there. Um, she got a top 10 at Jazz 500. And, <coughs> pardon me, uh, she is looking to get another top 10 here today and uh, hasn't really had, didn't have a good season last season, so hope to rebound and get something going here this season. Then Joan Burge in the 121. Um, looking to get back to back top tens as well. Uh, he's actually fifth place in standings right now, so this would be good for him. And then, um, 
We got 40 of Kazo in ninth place. He's been, or, yeah, he has uh, led a few laps in the Jazz 500 uh, and uh, been fair okay this season. Um, right now, running last of his teammates in the top 10 as Eli Wolf tries to make a pass for ninth. Um, I'll actually make it work here. We'll see. But yeah. And these tires are getting older, and we might see an actual pass for position here for the 40 and the 99. It looks like we will. 99 will clear the 40 for ninth place. Eli the Wolf, he's been consistent as well, um, running up front most of the races we've had this season, and looks to continue that. Uh, we'll definitely see who's got the quicker car, who's been able to have their tires rip out their approach halfway. Uh, that's definitely going to be interesting to look at. And Jessica's been also under the radar quick, just outside of the top 10. And, you know, Paulus has been quick. Kind of same situation. Led a few laps of Jazz 500. Unfortunately, uh, caught the one and only yellow and uh, forced them out of contention. And then the 60 of Cody Forge. Not a lot to say there, but uh, good luck to them in the U.S. military. And the 45 is Zivil. Uh, rookie, he's just trying to get his uh, season started. Hasn't really made a lot of up front moves or currently run 14th uh, looking to have a good day so hopefully that goes well for him and 89 John or not John McFadden uh, Brad Stover running well today now that we even the 48 running well today oh wait that's 45 yeah Brad Stover um, yeah, still looking for their first win and uh, still looking to <coughs> pardon me they're still looking to get a uh, good season going. Unfortunately, I haven't had a really good start to their season, but they're trying to, they just rebranded a new team name and rebranded uh, manufacturers. So hopefully that goes well for them. Then not a weed, uh, just came off a two win season. Probably one of his best. Uh, looking to repeat, um, you have another good season. We'll definitely have to see how they do. And then behind that is 28 of Bradley Ream, who uh, got a top 10 at, uh, or got two top 10s, uh, which already beats last year's record, so they're having a pretty good start to their season. Then defending champion in M H finished well with the Jazz 500, hasn't made a whole lot of noise since, but um, it's still the beginning of the season and uh, try to get out of that hole they're in, which isn't a very big hole at that, but it's a hole nonetheless for that 11 car. And then Dark X Rain, um, his first season with his new team. Uh, he's got a part-time entry in this with Riley Gorse. Uh, he's just right run, running the race out right now, trying to do what he can with what he can. And then a Zine in the 97. Uh, uh, he's been consistent so far. Um, he's got... Uh, he's actually the only uh, driver top uh, five in standings with not a single top ten or top five, but has been consistent enough to earn that, uh, especially with the, last, the run last week at Auto Club. So uh, that's been carrying him so far uh, into the third place in standings. I doubt that'll stay the same after this race, but... <laughs> good for them nonetheless. And then 59 of Barney Thrush for the third. Hasn't made a lot of noise either, but he's hoping to get his season going. He's going to win last season in Indianapolis. And the brief run of the playoffs, so <clears throat> uh, hopefully he does well this season. And then uh, 21 of Roberto Crown Jr. He is um, he got two wins last season. Uh, had a terrible season other than that. Um, but he's looking to rebound, get more wins, maybe more consistency. And right now, last in points is the 44 Lethal Mourner from the 23rd. I think he'll get himself out of that hole a little bit. It's after today's running okay. Um, not much to say there. Uh, you got to win last season at Darlington. And behind that is the 20 of uh, 3rd and Lexi Gaming. Got two wins last season. Um, it's been fairly okay in consistency. So, I think it goes well. 6-7 is Sean Ard. He's in his rookie season. Almost won the... 2022 NCCRS Championship. 
Uh, he's looking to. Do you have hopeful similar success in the Cup Series here? And then Ricky Freeman Jr. in the 10. Uh, he... All right, I'm back. All right. So what did I miss? Nothing really. They've been just running the race. Also, uh, uh, 99. I was able to lead around Kazo. So that's one thing. Uh, Oh, oh, and never tanked. But yeah, except, except for the ninety-nine getting around the forty. That's about it. Yet. Yeah. Funny enough, that right. could be one point that the forty needed to get in the playoffs, or maybe that's the one point the ninety-nine uh, just got that might might just hypothetically speaking put them in the playoffs. So, yeah, early in the season, you gotta get them points. You got every position matters all season long. Yeah. Except when you're in the playoffs, he, and if you're like got so many points, he's, yeah. These new um next gens feel like more aerodynamic than I thought. But when I drive into the um the Daytona International Speedway, <coughs> they feel they're really aerodynamic <coughs> when when they when they um when you like um go you know, like a drag race, it feels like you're in like um. In F the Formula One car, no, or the two thousand eight Gen Fives, Tara Tomorrows. Do you know the um the Gen the the Tara Tomorrows? Yeah, this is the CO two wings. Yeah. Is is it true that they were called um Gen Five, the Tara Tomorrows? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, as well. Um. NH is is on lap twenty two. Yeah, about He's ten laps to go. He, he led every lap without a without a um losing the spot of the first place. Yeah, we're starting to see everyone's pace start to yeah. get in a certain spot. The twenty six is starting to catch up. Probably, probably there'll be um pit pit windows on lap twenty five or something. I don't think they're gonna pit this race. Yeah, they're not gonna pit. Yeah. So far, no cautions. Hopefully, they'll make it to the end. Yep. As NH is bleeding every lap for the whole race. We got in the top ten. We got the we got Joy Payne's two two time back back winner of the Crown Jewel events, and um. And the 82 of the real gaming freak, the last the last race winner at Auto Club. And now NH gonna win at the at um Old Spice Pro Course. Last time winner John McFadden probably maybe I mean maybe net. This season, on his on his tenth win, probably someone will be the next John McFabbin, as we don't know yet. Side by side action, I think. Yep, the ninety nine is making a move. Oh, didn't work. And I cleared them, and Yana clears them off. Yeah, ninety nine made a move low, but the tw one twenty one cleared. Yeah. Eli the Wolf. Last, the last, uh, last season number ninety nine was um Brad Stover, and now um Brad Stover is quietly doing good. Yep, fourteenth place right now. Top fifteen finish will be not bad position though. Well, let's let's check on um teammates. We always so. His teammates, this um, the sixty of Cody Ford, Both one car ahead. A, yeah, just one car ahead. ahead. Four, te <clears throat> four, te four teammates are in the top like top fifteens now yep. of Wood Bros Racing, yep. and they and they were doing really, really good as they sometimes they have missed make a mistake but but doesn't but doesn't matter 
if if one of them wins, they 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 would win it for the Wood Bros. As as we're on lap twenty six, I think. Yeah, yep, twenty six. So for Wood Bros Racing, it'll be so the for the driver who right the driver um who's um clean their teammates are the 121 of me which are which has been an underdog since since 2021 and it's but he's, st but he's still um gaining some moves he cracked top tens for three races and now he's doing the fourth time this is actually uh looking like to be their third top ten yeah Third top, third or fourth top ten for the one twenty one. I think the only race they didn't get a top ten so far this season is the uh, Pocono race. Yeah. Last, he almost won his um. He almost won his like first season, um, finish in twenty twenty one. He almost finished eighth in his um third season so far, but, but in. But in this season, he cracked top. He always um, he always cracked the top tens, and he's still going for the top tens to win the champion, to make his to make his glory come true. Not sure if you noticed, but the uh, 54 was able to complete the pass on the 82 for fourth yeah. place, and the 77 at the Sabah, line there was able to do that. Sabah, Sabah side between the 77 and the 82, two winners side by side. This is for fifth. 82 cars them off. As the 121 goes the oh no, not enough. The 121. It's still side by side and 77 clears them off. Almost. Out, coming out of turn three, the hairpin. Yeah, not quite. As the 81 goes the outside lane. On the on the second final corner. Oh, a little bump by the one twenty one there. Stacked up there. And side by side, two teammates side by side. The twenty two twenty two of Daniel Paulus and the sixty of Cody Forge. A wood bars racing. Okay, you see trying to get around the twenty two. Coming to one lap to go this time by. Oh, 40's right there. Three 60 wide, had to let up. Three wide. It's almost yeah. a three wide there. Ooh, wow. Oh, Cody Forge. Almost got loose, but he saves it. Yeah, he lost his Just spot, a little, though. A little loose there, but he saves it, though. <laughs> <clears throat> yep. Coming to the white flag. White flag is out. <clears throat> Hopefully, they'll make it back. And H leads lead 30 laps without a single position loss. And he started in first place and made it all the way to winning his... Is it first or second? Second career win, won at Martinsville second, last year. Second career win. And he is really doing it well. And now, coming off at the Y corner... And now to the not to the second hairpin, final corner, and NH is gonna win at the remarkable last lap, last lap win. Well, right. basically, basically he won. And now in but in eighth place, the 121 wins a fourth top ten finish. Actually, third top ten finish. Yeah, top. Yeah, top. Top. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, uh, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that happened. Good points today for the seventeen. Yeah. We got the most lap sled pole and uh, thirty lap sled, so that's gonna be fifty plus 
the winning points, which is going to be a really good points day for them. Seventeen had had a has a good has a good <laughs> laughing because he he let thirty laps and he probably made it uh, all the way. Wait, what? What position he's in the standings? Uh, the seventeen. I'm not sure. I'll have to update the standings it's, after the yeah. after, uh, in a couple days. So yeah. yeah, he's he and hopefully that'll give him an advantage to um make a whole way up to the top ten. Yep. The top ten standings. Yep. All right. Well, any last thoughts? Yeah. Thank you. For and thank you for watching um Cars Land Cup series. Oh, subscribe to um Zach 103's channel and hit hit the bell for um for update like up uh, for uploads on for the 2023 season and and like like um his videos and and we'll see you in the next race at um what was the next race? Uh, here, let me pull up the schedule real quick. The next race is, um, I believe, yeah, the next race is Phoenix. Phoenix Mo Speedway. All right. Oh no, speed, just Speedway. Um, yeah. Phoenix Mo Speedway, and we'll see you at Phoenix. Peace.